Hi there. A flat machine part consists of two circular ends attached to a plate as shown. The sides of the plate HK and PQ are tangential to each circle. The larger circle has centre A and radius 4R. The smaller circle has centre B and radius R. The length of HK is 8R and the length of AB which is the line joining the two centres is 20 root 73. Grand, okay, so that's all shown on the diagram. We can see that. Find R, the radius of the smaller circle. Hint, draw BT, the line from B to T. Well, we're not given T, but draw it parallel to KH. Okay, so what we need to do is draw this line here parallel to HK. That should be a straight line, but it, uh, it more or less is. So this point here must be T. And I'll just illustrate that these two lines are parallel with the arrows. So um, because HT and KB are perpendicular to HK, we also have that these two lines are parallel. So what we have here is um, a parallelogram, but not only that, because we have right angles in it, it's actually a rectangle. So this length here is also 8R, and this length here is R, and then this length here is 3R from here to here. So that's R plus 3R gives us the 4R. Okay, so now we should be able to find R because we have an equation involving 3R, 8R, and 20 root 73 because it's a right angle triangle. And I just use Pythagoras' theorem to give me the equation and then I'll solve it. So the equation will be 3R to be squared plus 8R to be squared is 20 root 73 to be squared. 3R to be squared is 9R squared and 8R to be squared is 64R squared. Uh, we square 20 we get 400 and if we square root 73 we just get 73. So let's add the two R squareds together and we get uh, nine, uh, sorry, 73 R squared. Well, that's nice um, because I just divide across by 73 and then we have that R must be squared of 400 which is 20 again. So we found the length of R. Centimeters. So it's a good idea to put in the units in all of these. Find the area of the quadrilateral ABKH. Okay, I'm going to have to draw a rough sketch of this um, to show you how to do this again. Now, we have ABKH. This is H up here. And we have to find the area of that quadrilateral. So what we do is we can find the area of the rectangle and find the area of the triangle separately. And we're given that the length of this rectangle is 8R, and that's R. So clearly the area of, uh, well, this point here is T. So the area of this rectangle, which I'm going to label TBKH, is going to be just 8R by R. So that's 8R squared. OK, and then we have the triangle. So this is R, this is 3R down here, and this over here is 20 root 73. And this is, of course, 8R. So the area of the triangle, and um, we'll call this ABT. That's going to be a half the base. Let's call the base 8R by the perpendicular height, which I'll call 3R. So that's uh, 8 by 3 is 24, and a half of that is 12. So it's 12R squared. So the area of the quadrilateral is 20R squared. ABKH is equal to 20R squared. And uh, remember, R is 20. So that's uh, R squared is 400. So it's 20 by 400, 
which is 8,000 centimeters squared. Now, find the size of the angle HAP uh, in degrees, correct to one decimal place. Okay, I could use either tan or sine or cosine. So uh, I think I'll use tan, and we have 8r over 3r. So let's go tan of the angle. I'm going to call the angle theta. It is opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be 8r over 3r, uh, which is 8 over 3. Therefore, tan inverse of 8 over 3 is theta. So let's scroll down and give us a bit of room. We want this in degrees, so make sure your calculator is set to degrees and just go tan inverse of 8 over 3 and we get 69.44. Okay, but uh, we've just found theta. We need to find HAP because uh, P is this point down here. So we need to add on another theta. We need to basically double theta because theta is also this same angle down here. The whole thing is symmetrical. And so we just need to double that. So therefore, uh, the size of the angle HAP uh, is twice uh, 69.44, which is 138.9 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so let's move on. Now, find the area of the machine part correct to the nearest centimeter squared. Okay, so I'm just going to draw another sketch of the machine part. Okay, so my machine part looks uh, like this, and we've already found the area, remember, of this quadrilateral. Okay, so I think the area was 8,000 uh, centimeters squared of that bit. So uh, we could, we've also got the area of the quadrilateral below it because um, it's going to be the same because this machine part is symmetrical. So we also have another 8,000 centimeters squared down here. So, what we need to do is find the two areas of the sectors at either side. So, to find the area of this smaller sector, what we need to know is the angle in here. Um, but that angle is 138.9 degrees, because it's the same as this angle in here, which we just found. So, we also want to find the area of this sector at this side. So we also need to know the angle on this side of the sector, but isn't that going to be one? Uh, sorry, 360. Take away 138.9, which is 221.1 degrees. So this here angle is at 221.1 degrees in there. Now to find the area of the big sector. We need the radius. Okay, so the radius of this is 4r. r was 20, so that's 80 centimeters. The radius of the small circle is 20 centimeters. So to get the big sector, uh, we'll call it sector 1 area, is going to be pi by the radius squared, so that's 80 squared, by the proportion of the circle, which is 221.1 over 360 and then the area of the uh, smaller sector we call sector 2 is going to be pi by its radius which is 20 uh, by the proportion of the circle which is 138.9 over 360 and let's add those two together if I punch it all into the calculator I get 1 2 348.55 and if I punch the second one into the calculator 
I guess 484.85 if I sum those and add the area of the two quadrilaterals which is 16,000 uh, all together I will get 28833 centimeters squared so the area of the machine part is 28833 centimeters squared and that's the question complete. Bye for now.